Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today I have for you a different amount of hauls from different places. I've got charity shops, I've got Poundland and a big Tesco's haul at the end as well. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what I got from the charity shops. My main goal was to find some more toys for Oscar and indeed I found loads. I had to leave some behind but let me show you what I got. Um, I can't remember already which charity shop it was but got that. Just made a mistake by pressing that because uh, there's no way of shutting it off but it's like a little mobile as you can see. It's just going to be in the background. That was $1.99. I got this, this little disc, what is it called? Ocean drum. So he, Oscar loves anything with noises. So I thought that was really good. That was a pound. That was actually from British Heart Foundation. Yeah, so I think the mobile, the little phone, that was from Bernardo's. Uh, I also picked up, and I know you, all of you are going to tell me that your kids or your grandkids had some of these. I used to have some for Alex as well. If you have never seen these, these are Tommy's eggs. And um, yeah, they come like this. And you take them off and they all make different noises. So I was really happy to find that. That was one ninety nine. That was from British Heart Foundation as well. Finally, from British Heart Foundation, I got this. You all know how much I love wooden toys. I thought this was very unusual. It has different holes inside, so you can make different shapes with it. And um, yeah, you can just basically let your imagination um, play around. I have disinfected everything. This was actually really, really dirty, so gave it a good wipe down and it looks brand new. This was $2.99. Um, and then this one, where is this one? Oh, the next one I went to was Oxfam and um, I got a couple, did I? Mm, just got one. Yeah, just got this one which is like a little boom box. You know, one of those. Uh, it's from VTech. That was also $1.99. Um, I also got these from Bernardo's. Um, I'm actually, these are not for now. I just got some little wooden vehicles. We actually have a garage, garage, um, like petrol station and like garage uh, thing from Alex that is wooden sort of I think it's like ELC kind of brand or oh, we bought second hand but we don't have any cars so every time I see these I pick them up I've got quite got like another three or four of these these were 50p for these three so I'll put those away for when Oscar is ready now, um, Oxfam, if you guys are in the UK, you know this already, but if you're not, Oxfam also, they have their own line of like um, environmentally friendly or shall I say more like ethically sourced products. And um, I always love this stuff. They always got really cool stuff. I picked up this garland, which I thought was gorgeous. Um, it's felt, it says there, excuse the chipped now varnish but it says they're 12.99 and it had a 50 percent off sticker so it was like 6.50 i really really love that I'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it yet but i love it i also picked up a moomin water bottle i love moomin i just i i don't know since childhood kind of thing so um i picked up this gorgeous water bottle uh, which will probably live in the pram, you know, on the, I've got like a little pouch in the pram. Um, and as we go into summer, we think, you know, summer, 
I mean, where is spring, let alone summer? But yeah, this also had a 50% sticker off. But it was $80.99, $9.40. And they do a whole range of Moomin things. So they have like coffee cups and insulated bottles. Um, yeah, I wanted to buy it all, but I didn't. And the last thing I got was this. I thought this was so cute. Felt. They had other ones, but this was the one that I really liked. And again, it was four ninety nine. If you can see up there, with a fifty percent off. I thought that was really cute to um, hang in one of the boys's boys' room um, somewhere. I'll find a place for it. I'm sure. Um, okay, was that it? And then this, I can't remember which charity shop this was at, but I got two books. Oh, it says here, Age UK, okay? I paid one ninety nine for this book, and it is a Christmas book by Charles Dickens. I don't know if it's going to focus you guys, but trust me, it is. I just thought that was cute. I just thought I'm going to put that with my Christmas stuff and bring it out every Christmas. Um, one ninety nine. They had others, um, but I only got this particular one. And then the other one was a bit of a sentimental thing. I used to love watching this on the TV. It's called Lark Cries to Candleford. Did you guys ever watch that? It used to be on BBC every Sunday night. Oh, I just love that series so much. So when I saw the book for again, one ninety nine there i just thought i'll just buy it i don't know if i'll ever read it but um i just thought how cute okay so that was it from the charity shops i then popped to poundland just to pick up a couple of things i didn't go in for much uh, but one thing i did see was were these frames now these were a pound but the difference, I, I've bought their frames before, but this one's actually for A4, as you can see. Um, so I intend to hang some of Alex's artwork in these. You know that I do that. We have a wall full of um, his pictures, um, but the, the usually the frames I get, they're slightly s smaller, so we tend to cut the pictures. We usually cut the bits that don't really matter. But anyway. I was pleased to see that there. That was, they were a pound each. I also picked up this. I had never seen these before there. Swanky, I don't know about that. Dining stuff, cutlery set. And it has a spoon, a fork and a knife. There you go, like so. I thought this was quite good, look. Little knife. They're slightly smaller. I'd say these are more like kid size, but I thought I could keep this in my car. Um, but also, say, when restaurants are open and things like that, when you go to a restaurant, the little kids, they usually don't have little kids um, cutlery. So for Oscar, this is when he's a little bit bigger. But yeah, mainly I bought it to have it in a car in, if we ever need it. I'll give it a wash and just keep it there nice for when we need it. Up more of these. These were £2. You guys saw, if you saw my last um, shopping haul. Now, even though you only just seen it previously, it was from a couple of weeks ago. So anyway, I got another one of these. I really like, love, love these. Um... I got some more hand soap, never have enough. And I also picked up this pomegranate shower gel from Palmolive. Um, I thought, I haven't even smelt it to be fair. Oh, that smells delicious. 100% recycled plastic, always nice to hear. And then, if you guys ever tried these, I've never tried these all together, but I have bought them individually. 70 biscuits, nine varieties. This was two pounds. And look, it has milk chocolate digestives, bourbon creams, digestives, shortcake, nice biscuits, uh, shortbread, jam ring, custard tarts, and fruit. 
not custard tarts, custard creams and fruit shortcake. I thought that was quite good. Um, Paul seemed quite happy with those. I also picked up these little wafer rolls from Thornton's. You know, these can go for like two pounds something. So those were a pound. And I have never tried these. I thought it looked like a bit of something nice, tasty and fun. So I got some of those. And then for Alex, picked up some cake bars, fudge ones. I think he's going to love that. And some fat balls, you guys. Oh, also, this M&M's hazelnut. These were usually two pounds. I think they were 150. This was actually at a local shop on the way home. I picked these up for Alex to try. Some quail's eggs. I think he's gonna love that. Um, we'll eat them as well in salads and things like that, but he's never tried them and he loves trying anything that's a little bit different and out of the ordinary. So as long as it's not fruit veg, right? And that is it for the Poundland. Now, let me show you all the Tesco stuff. Okay, let's start as usual with the frozen stuff. We have some garlic bread slices. Um, I also picked up some of these lemon and pepper goujons. We love having these in a wrap with some salad. So I just got a little bag. These taste really good. Some fish fingers, also some frozen croissants some uh, prawns this was a substitution i'd actually ordered the lemonade lollies i mentioned that in my uh previous not previous my poundland haul but yeah they didn't have it so, so they substituted it with this and uh, paul and alex love these anyway so that's fine that's all the frozen stuff let me just quickly put this away and I'll let's continue got a pot of double cream i actually thought I'd ordered a smaller one, obviously not. Some yogurt. Then picked up some, well, quite a lot of cheese, I think. Well, I got some baby bells, some mature cheddar, two blocks of those. Paul and I love having those with um, crackers. Two things of honey roast ham. One chicken already in the pot. Some moroccan style hummus some gnocchi i love a uh, frying sort of shallow fry you know like almost no oil frying the gnocchi and they kind of taste like almost like roasted potatoes it's very very delicious um there's some grated cheese back there we've got some mature cheddar and some mozzarella i know i'm gonna get asked questions about that that was a freebie I picked up from the side of the road. But it's a house and it's a tea light holder. So just in case you want to know. I have no idea where it's from. It doesn't tell you. Anyway, the diced beef here. Make a stew. Still cold enough for us to want to stew. Some butter. There's some cheese string here. Baby corn. Apples. Jazz apples are our favourite. Free range eggs iceberg lettuce there's also some mary's mary's piper's potatoes these are my favorite they're just really multi-purpose kind of thing got some mushrooms now breads and um pastries i should say we've got pan au chocolat we've got tortilla wraps also got some pre-baked baguettes these are always very handy you can keep them and whenever you run out of bread, you've got bread. Irish soda bread, my favorite. I also got a loaf of malted bread and a loaf of milk bread for Alex. I'll freeze some of it um, as well. And other stuff doesn't have like a, a small date. So don't worry, don't think like, oh, I've got to eat all of this this week. Um, stuff like this, look, it, um, yeah, there you go, till the 22nd of May. And then continuing with the biscuits and cakes and bread. Some brioche loaf here sliced. I also got these 
um, mini cookies. These were a deal that they do. I actually ordered chocolate chip cookie um, biscuit. Let's try again. I ordered chocolate chip muffins, uh, but they didn't have any, so they sent me these instead. Um, yeah, or double chocolate chip muffins, whatever they're called. But that's fine. And then I got some little gingerbread for Alex as well. I ordered some crunchy peanut butter, um, but I did actually buy some the other day from B&M. Whatever. Some chia seeds here. A big thing of spaghetti. Pop-wise, I've got some lemonade and some Fanta. Got one bottle of vegetable oil. Ordered some lemon curd. I just fancied it. I haven't had lemon curd in ages, so I thought, why not? Love that on toast. Four things of tuna. This is like a deal that they do. You save, I think you save like 50 or 60p, but yeah. A bag of penne pasta. Some more cheese thins. There's also some muffin cases here. And then got two things of sugar. One thing of strong white bread flour. Three things of ready salted crisps. Got some super nutty granola. I've never tried this one, but I like nuts in the granola. So I thought I would give that a try. It looks good. Some, I bought this right for 15p, you guys. It's a double zero flour, soft wheat flour. I thought 15p, that's a bargain. I should have got some more. Um, yeah. Especially because, yeah, the date's until um, November. So, yeah. Got soya milk here for Paul. And four things of frosted flakes. And finally, the baby food. These are Oscar's favourite snacks. I'm sure I've shown them on my videos before. These little... Um, organic what are they call wheat raspberry and banana cereal snack they taste like cardboard but yeah they're his favorite so i got two and then i also got some melty sticks he also loves those there is uh apple biscottis in there as well and then i just kept it simple just got pear and apple apple and mango pea parsnip with pear and then Carrot, Swede, potato. No, carrot, sweet potato and Swede. So um, he's eating a lot more finger food now. So these are more like of a top up kind of thing. So yeah. For this video i hope you have enjoyed it as always always i hope you keep it well let me know in the comments if you are sick as i am of this miserable weather and if you are ready for spring anyway take care of yourself stay safe and i'll see you next time